Welcome back now to an update on the baby formula shortage crisis impacting mothers and infants all across the country. Today, Abbott Labs, the baby formula manufacturer at the heart of a nationwide formula recall, is saying it has reached an agreement with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to enter into a consent decree. A consent decree is a legally binding agreement that would require the company to take certain steps in response to violations found at its Michigan facility. If a court approves the agreement, the company says it could restart the site within two weeks. Back in February, the FDA has shut down Abbott's Michigan plant due to unsanitary conditions at the facility that resulted in two infants dying and two others getting sick. All this as the House works on two bills aimed at helping with the shortage. Speaker Nancy Pelosi vowing that Congress will act. There are four countries, Chile, Mexico, uh, um, Ireland and the Netherlands that have supply that might be available to us. The first bill is for emergency funding to allow the U.S. to purchase baby formula from FDA-approved facilities abroad. The second bill would expand formula access for people receiving government assistance, help that can't come soon enough. President Biden is also offering formula manufacturers and retailers transportation and logistics support to help ease the shortage. One of the major baby formula manufacturers is warning that this crisis could last through the end of the year.